In mathematical analysis, a measure on a set is a systematic way to assign a number to each suitable subset of that set, intuitively interpreted as its size. In this sense, a measure is a generalization of the concepts of length, area, and volume. A particularly important example is the Lebesgue measure on a Euclidean space, which assigns the conventional length, area, and volume of Euclidean geometry to suitable subsets of the n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn. For instance, the Lebesgue measure of the interval, 0, 1, in the real numbers is its length in the everyday sense of the word, specifically, 1. Technically, a measure is a function that assigns a non-negative real number or plus to subsets of a set X. It must assign zero to the empty set and be additive, the measure of a large subset that can be decomposed into a finite number of smaller disjoint subsets, is the sum of the measures of the smaller subsets. In general, if one wants to associate a consistent size to each subset of a given set while satisfying the other axioms of a measure, one only finds trivial examples like the counting measure. This problem was resolved by defining measure only on a sub-collection of all subsets. The so-called measurable subsets, which are required to form a i florin algebra. This means that countable unions, countable intersections and complements of measurable subsets are measurable. Non-measurable sets in a Euclidean space, on which the Lebesgue measure cannot be defined consistently, are necessarily complicated in the sense of being badly mixed up with their complement. Indeed, their existence is a non-trivial consequence of the axiom of choice. Measure theory was developed in successive stages during the late 19th and early 20th centuries by Permel Mile Borel, Henri Liebsk, Johann Radon and Morris Farr Copyright Chet, among others. The main applications of measures are in the foundations of the Liebsk integral, in Andrei Kolmogorov's axiomatization of probability theory and in ergodic theory. In integration theory, specifying a measure allows one to define integrals on spaces more general than subsets of Euclidean space. Moreover, the integral with respect to the Lebesgue measure on Euclidean spaces is more general and has a richer theory than its predecessor, the Riemann integral. Probability theory considers measures that assign to the whole set the size 1, and considers measurable subsets to be events whose probability is given by the measure. Egotic theory considers measures that are invariant under, or arise naturally from, a dynamical system. Definition Let x be a set and i pound a i florin algebra over x a function i one quarter from i pound to the extended real number line is called a measure if it satisfies the following properties non negativity, for all e in i pound i one quarter, e. A per mil zero yen. Null empty set, I one quarter, A equals zero. Countable additivity, for all countable collections of pairwise disjoint sets in I pound. One may require that at least one set E has finite measure. Then the empty set automatically has measure zero because of countable additivity, because, so. If only the second and third conditions of the definition of measure above are met and I one quarter takes on at most one of the values a plus or minus a, then I one quarter is called a signed measure. The pair is called a measurable space, the members of I pound are called measurable sets. If and are two measurable spaces, then a function is called measurable if for every Y measurable set, the inverse image is X measurable a euro a euro a euro that is. The composition of measurable functions is measurable, making the measurable spaces and measurable functions a category, with the measurable spaces as objects and the set of measurable functions as arrows. A triple is called a measure space. A probability measure is a measure with total measure only a euro a euro a euro that is i one quarter, x, equals one. A probability space is a measure space with a probability measure. For measure spaces that are also topological spaces various compatibility conditions can be placed for the measure and the topology. Most measures met in practice in analysis are radon measures. Radon measures have an alternative definition in terms of linear functionals on the locally convex space of continuous functions with compact support. This approach is taken by Burbaki and a number of other sources. For more details, see the article on radon measures. Examples, some important measures are listed here. The counting measure is defined by I one quarter, S, 
equals number of elements in S. The Lebesgue measure on A is a complete translation invariant measure on AI Florin algebra containing the intervals in A such that I 1 quarter, 0, 1, equals 1. And every other measure with these properties extends Lebesgue measure. Circular angle measure is invariant under rotation, and hyperbolic angle measure is invariant under squeeze mapping. The Ha measure for a locally compact topological group is a generalization of the Lebesgue measure and has similar uniqueness properties. The Hausdorff measure is a generalization of the Lebesgue measure to sets with non-integer dimension, in particular, fractal sets. Every probability space gives rise to a measure which takes the value 1 on the whole space. Such a measure is called a probability measure. See probability axioms. The Dirac measure IA is given by IA, S, equals IS, A, where IS is the characteristic function of S. The measure of a set is 1 if it contains the point A and 0 otherwise. Other named measures used in various theories include, Borel measure, Jordan measure, Egotic measure, Euler measure, Gaussian measure, Bayer measure, Radon measure, Young measure, and Strong measure 0. In physics an example of a measure is spatial distribution of mass, or another non-negative extensive property, conserved or not. Negative values lead to signed measures see generalizations below. Liouville measure, known also as the natural volume form on a symplectic manifold, is useful in classical statistical and Hamiltonian mechanics. Gibbs measure is widely used in statistical mechanics, often under the name canonical ensemble. Properties, several further properties can be derived from the definition of a countably additive measure. Equals monotonicity equals, a measure I one quarter is monotonic, if E1 and E2 are measurable sets with E1 ash E2 then equals measures of infinite unions of measurable sets equals A measure I1 quarter is countably subadditive for any countable sequence E1, E2, E3 of sets and an I pound. A measure I1 quarter is continuous from below if E1, E2, E3 are measurable sets and N is a subset of N plus 1 for all N then the union of the sets n is measurable, and equals measures of infinite intersections of measurable sets equals, a measure i one quarter is continuous from above, if e1, e2, e3 are measurable sets and for all n, n plus 1 ash n, then the intersection of the sets n is measurable. Furthermore, if at least one of the n has finite measure, then this property is false without the assumption that at least one of the n has finite measure. For instance, for each n and n, let n equals, n, a, ash r, which all have infinite Lebesgue measure, but the intersection is empty. Sigma finite measures. A measure space is called finite if I one quarter, x, is a finite real number. Non-zero finite measures are analogous to probability measures in the sense that any finite measure I one quarter is proportional to the probability measure. A measure I one quarter is called I florin finite if X can be decomposed into a countable union of measurable sets of finite measure. Analogously, a set in a measure space is said to have a I florin finite measure if it is a countable union of sets with finite measure. For example, the real numbers with the standard Lebesgue measure are I florin finite but not finite. Consider the closed intervals, k, k plus 1, for all integers k. There are countably many such intervals, each has measure 1, and their union is the entire real line. Alternatively, consider the real numbers with a counting measure, which assigns to each finite set of reals the number of points in the set. This measure space is not I florin finite because every set with finite measure contains only finitely many points, and it would take uncountably many such sets to cover the entire real line. The I florin finite measure spaces have some very convenient properties. I florin finiteness can be compared in this respect to the Lindala paragraph F property of topological spaces. They can be also thought of as a vague generalization of the idea that a measure space may have uncountable measure. Completeness. A measurable set X is called a null set if I one quarter, X, equals zero. A subset of a null set is called a negligible set. A negligible set need not be measurable, but every measurable negligible set is automatically a null set. 
A measure is called complete if every negligible set is measurable. A measure can be extended to a complete one by considering the i florin algebra of subsets y which differ by a negligible set from a measurable set x, that is, such that the symmetric difference of x and y is contained in a null set. 1 defines i 1 quarter, y, to equal i 1 quarter, x. Additivity, measures are required to be countably additive. However, the condition can be strengthened as follows. For any set i and any set of non-negative re, define. That is, we define the sum of the re to be the supremum of all the sums of finitely many of them. A measure i one quarter on i pound is i additive if for any i, 